everyone who plans on getting a cybersecurity job or even gets a certificate or degree in cybersecurity is actually going to land a cybersecurity job. It has been shown that if you are trying to make a change into a different career, it's actually extremely hard and majority of people will not do it. The fact that you have to learn an entirely new skill set puts off a lot of people. And many of you have even told me you feel extremely overwhelmed by the amount of information out there and that you have been thinking to change your career for over a year now and haven't really made any progress. So in this video, I'm going to go over a step-by-step -step process that will put you ahead of 99% of cybersecurity professionals. This way, you have a higher chance of succeeding in your change. The first step that you should incorporate in your daily life is to learn something new about the field every day. Preferably study one to two hours a day for over more than a period of six months. Now you don't need to study 20 hours a day for six months like cybersecurity boot camps would have you have it, but a little bit of learning over a consistent time, in my experience, has been the most effective way to gain a new skill. The second tip to get ahead, the majority of people who are trying to change their career is to set a date. Now, this is based on a thing called Parkinson's Law where the time allotted will expand to the amount of time that you have given it. I find this true in my life. If I give it two months, it's going to take me two months. If I give it a year, it's going to take me a year. And some of you have probably been trying to change your career for years upon years with absolutely no luck. And that is because you don't really have a date when you want to start that career. So by writing it down and saying, I want to have a cybersecurity career by say, March 1st of 2023, you will automatically start taking those actions in order to start a career in cybersecurity. If you don't have a date, it could be endless. Trust me on that. The years can move by super quickly and it is hard to do it all by yourself. So having someone who is accountable and also doing it with you would be extremely beneficial. The third tip is to create an online portfolio of your projects. Now in cybersecurity, there's actually not a lot of people who create online portfolios of cybersecurity projects. The reason being is that's mostly what software developers do and it's a little bit more difficult to document your projects in this field because you're not really coding. You're more like creating a standard operating procedures for a future employer to look at. Yeah, because most of the cybersecurity jobs don't require you to know a lot of coding and you're not really going to be building anything. And for this online portfolio, you really want it to be targeted to a specific job. Now the word cybersecurity is extremely popular now than it was like two years when I started this YouTube channel, but cybersecurity is literally hundreds and hundreds of jobs and in can and you can specialize in any one technology if you look at this defense of depth image you're going to see that these are all different types of technologies and tools that are implemented to secure an organization and i have worked on a lot of different ones of these and you can specialize in say a WAF. you can spend specialize in edr you can specialize in firewall in monitoring and response in GRC. And then in each one of those, there's still even more types of things you can specialize. So you're really gonna want to know what type of job you're going to want to know in cybersecurity. So don't just set up any type of project that isn't really related to the job that you want. So it would be completely pointless to learn a SOC analyst job and set up an entire portfolio on a SOC if you wanted to do application security. The fourth step in changing your career in cybersecurity is to make sure that you find a community of like-minded people. It's actually been shown community, if you have a community around you who's also doing the same thing, your success is going to go through, your the leverage and success that you have is gonna go through the roof. Whereas if you're just by yourself, like me for so many years and then just doing the work, you can become 
become extremely discouraged because it's not an easy thing to change your career. It's a really big step. And also for the community, a pro tip is you don't want to join just any community. You want to join a community where people are really serious and committed about their personal and professional development because you're going to feed off of that energy. I know there's like tons of groups, but they're discouraging about how no one is finding a job and nobody is getting any interviews or anything like that. I can tell you there are plenty of people still hiring and there's insane amount of jobs out there. So be careful who you hang out with as you are the five people around you. The next step is to really understand the big picture of security. You would be so surprised about how many people actually have no idea why they do their job. That may sound crazy for you, but this is especially common, say, in the technical aspect of cybersecurity. For instance, maybe you're just you're doing the technical aspect and you think the purpose of the company is just to have that technical aspect. But in reality, everything starts out with business and regulatory requirements, which are then mapped to security requirements. So if you can understand this concept, you're going to be able to go to interviews and talk about different things. For instance, a web application firewall, which I worked on for two years, is simply just a control put into place to mitigate risk. And an employer is always going to look more favorable on people who understand the big picture and the business side of things. And most companies don't exist just to have a security team, which people in security and IE oftentimes have a hard time understanding. They think they are separate from the business, but that isn't necessarily true. The next step is to find a mentor that has done it before. So I was that person who spent years and years just trying to figure out everything on my own. And I made an insane amount of mistakes that really weren't needed. And I lost out on a lot of opportunities for career advancement and also negotiation and pay because I was too stubborn just to ask someone for help because I could figure it out all on my own. Now, while you can do this, trust me, you can, I've done it it's going to take you a much longer period if you don't talk to anybody and you just try to do it all on your own. So finding a mentor who has done it can increase your earnings a lot faster, your advancement, your opportunities, can gear you in the right direction and finding a job that is specifically good for you and not following all of these trends. For instance, you may absolutely hate the technical side, but there's a lot of people who are just selling you on becoming, say, a SOC analyst. Or maybe you would hate the GR GRC side. There are people just selling you on becoming like a GRC analyst. So this isn't necessarily right for everybody. And so finding someone who can help guide you through that process of finding a specific career that you would personally like within the field would be really beneficial. Now, this is a shameless plug, but I have created Upskill to Cyber, which is a mentorship slash skills training academy. And it's where I take an active investment in your success and will guide you through the process, whether you are a new grad, trying to get that first cybersecurity job, whether you are looking to change your career from a unrelated type of field, or you're just someone in IT looking to land a job that they really want and not just what people tell them in a the shortest amount of time as possible. I'm not promising 90 days. It could maybe even take a year, but I'll work with you until you change your career and save you from a lot of mistakes that I have done in the last 10 years of my career. It's highly customized, so it's not really a boot camp, and it's goal oriented for you to create projects based on your current level, your career goals. And so if you are interested, you can go ahead and apply below in the link in the description. And yeah, I also have tons of free videos if you want to check those out, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.